Hello and welcome. Let's get started. So first, of course, locate your front differential. It's right at the front of the truck, hard to miss. Here is your fill plug slash check plug, and underneath is your drain plug. Now, always a good idea when doing these sorts of services to remove the fill plug first to make sure you can get fluid back into the vehicle. Um, in this case, you'll need a 15 millimeter socket and or wrench. So go ahead and loosen that and take it off. Before you take it out all the way, make sure that you have some sort of drain pan underneath for any drips. And you'll notice that as I take it out here, um, the nylon gasket has a tendency to stick. Just take that off. You're gonna to want to clean that gasket really well, as well as the fill plug. And of course, that goes for when we get to the drain plug. You're gonna to want to clean those gaskets, and also make sure and wipe off the magnetic end. With the fill plug off, you can check your fluid level. Um, you can use your good old finger, or my preferred method is an Allen key. Put the short end in the hole and make the long end parallel to the ground. That way, you get a good reading. And then you should be able to use the Allen key as kind of a dipstick and a level read. Uh, conveniently, this one is totally full, so it's been well maintained. Um, so good to know before we start draining it. Okay, now we're ready to drain. So grab a 3 8 ratchet, and all it takes is the head of the 3 8 ratchet, and then you can loosen it up, remove the drain plug, and again, make sure the gasket comes off and you get it clean. Um, let it drain. When it's all drained and you get the gasket clean and the plug wiped down, then you reinstall the drain plug and the gasket. Once those are installed, you're ready to add fluid. Consult your owner's manual for the correct fluid application. In this case, for the front differential, it requires synthetic 75W90. I prefer the AC Delco stuff because that's what came with the truck. Fill the fluid until it starts flowing back out the hole and then also double check the level with either your finger or an Allen key. When you've done that, reinstall the fill plug and uh, make sure that the gasket is on it. Of course, it's a great time to double check your work that the, both the fill plug and the drain plug are on tight and that you have no leaks. Clean up the mess you made and you're all done.